Okay, so um, what if, like, uh, say yesterday, I met somebody I know, and I said something, which I now regret saying, I re actually, I think I shouldn't have said that, maybe I, I sounded silly, or maybe it was taken in a way that was, um, uh, maybe it was taken in a way that wasn't quite uh, uh, what I wanted. So how would I let that go, and the feelings and the thoughts around that? Well, um, there, there's something like, if I've said something and I've got feelings that actually that wasn't tactful for myself or others, then I'd want to clear away the any guilt or karma. I do sort of subscribe to karma and what The Course in Miracles says. You know, there are no private thoughts. Um, there is actually, at a certain level, there is oneness. And there is an intuitiveness, even if one seems to have the experience of separation from others. So if I come in and say, look, I don't like you and or, or um, I don't like people who are this political party, whatever it is. Um, and and then I realize I shouldn't maybe wasn't the most tactful thing to say in the in the situation, then, um, you know, it's sometimes with me, it's due to probably I've said something that wasn't the most uh, loving uh, or sometimes I just need to keep my mouth shut uh, and not say things, uh, which does happen sometimes, <laughs> which I hadn't said that thing. In the <laughs> but um, so I do something if it's like that, because often it's like, well, if there's others involved and I've said something and then there's a regret that I said something, then um, Apart from doing this, the 12 step thing, which was to say, look, hey, I said this thing uh, and make amends, look, I'm sorry, that wasn't very tactful of me that I, I did say that thing yesterday. Apart from doing that, I, I do also do something else, um, which is to energetically clear what I think needs to be clear between myself and others. So say yesterday there was something I said to somebody and now I regret saying that. And there might be a feeling it was inappropriate or it's created some harm or some resentment or, or anger in another individual, then I will start to go into clearing exercises. I mean, I do do one from Hawkins. Um, and sometimes it's like the ego is a projection of things it's done over and over again to myself and others. So I just see what's the thing, the program in me that seems to create harm to myself and others. Like I, I, um, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who has said uh, harmful things to myself and others in inappropriate situations in this lifetime and past lifetimes, just to clear a theme, if it seems to be a thing that happens from time to time or, or a pattern. And what it's doing is clearing um, my collective harms to myself and others. Um, uh, so to allow the um, uh, experience of grace um, also, I mean, it's a, just a simple thing, which is very, I mean, it's, it sounds obviously simple, but if I feel I've, like, let's say I said something and I wish I hadn't said something, and I feel that another person shouldn't have heard something that I've said, or it's had an effect on another person, and, and then I will sometimes just try and clear it. I what's a good, uh, I mean, let me try and explain what I'm doing, because actually Dr. Hugh Len is a great example of this. So Dr. Hugh Len, whether, I mean, some may, may believe in this, but he was a guy, or I'd call him a mystic who transcends data. And uh, so there's a, uh, um, a prison full of uh, uh, criminals and he was just given the files of what they had done. He didn't go to meet them. And he just looked at the files. Okay, this is an ax murderer. This person ran over his kids. Okay, and then he, he forgave. He forgave them all. He basically transcended what they had done by just clearing the data from his consciousness. You could say uh, giving a kind of a universal forgiveness. And what happened was that all those prisoners got well and they actually shut down that prison. So it's a true story documented and there's a lot of uh, evidence on that. So, so I'm actually one with that other, so let's say I, I said something and I now intuitively feel I've, I've said something and I wanna clear it, the harm, that's been done to another or myself. I mean, at a certain level, there is only one, but in the illusion, it seems harm can be done to myself and others. So I'll just uh, pray for them or I'll do, 
I mean, some people talk about the Hapanapana prayer, you know, um, please forgive me, I'm sorry, thank you. But um, I you could do the God is the love in which I forgive myself and that other person, or God is the love in which, I, if it's just me, God is the love in which I forgive myself uh, for having said something embarrassing yesterday. Or I like the canceling beliefs. I cancel my guilt that I said something yesterday that I shouldn't have said. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel any harm that I might have done in Joe Bloggs. Um, I'm, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So what I'm doing is I'm deleting that thought within the collective consciousness in myself and others. And, and it's like, and I trust that there's a universal connectiveness between myself and others. So one, once it's dissolved the thoughts that bind me, you could say karmic contract or a spiritual assignment with another individual, um, then myself and the other is let free from a lesson that needs to be learned uh, collectively. That sounds a bit incoherent, maybe. I hope people get the gist of what I'm trying to say there. Other things you can do, well, if there's thoughts coming up uh, and there's guilt coming up, who's what, what's witnessing the thoughts that I said something inappropriate? What's witnessing the guilt? Is the witnesser or the observer of the thoughts and the guilt uh, feeling guilty or in thinking around the situation? Another way to clear it. Other ways, feel the feelings. Just be with any sort of feelings of guilt or regret or remorse. How, do you, how does that feel? Be with it, stop labeling it until it dissolves into nothingness. So, and, and there's the Course in Miracles prayers. So I shall um, now stop.